There we go. Ah, got the bot to work. Okay. Jesus Christ, it sounds like I'm doing this alone. Hello, everybody. Uh, you there, Zane? Zane? It's breaking. Uh, <laughs> like, specifically for you, or...? My headset keeps turning off health. What the hell? How does that even happen? Hey, folks, we're experiencing some technical difficulties right now. As you could probably hear. This is why I don't drink milk from the bowl. What? <laughs> Are you eating cereal? Is that what no, caused just this? Milk from the bowl. Why why would there just be milk in the bowl? If there was no cereal. Because you touch yourself at night. Pretty sure most people do. Yes, this is all the <laughs> The milk is from all the people touching themselves at night. I put it in this bowl. Well, then it's not milk. Yes. You... Four channer. <laughs> what? I don't know. Only people I could think of that would just like masturbate into household objects and just leave it there are people who frequent 4chan. I guess you've never seen Reddit before. Was it also Reddit had the pony jar? No, I'm just talking about the subreddits like R coming on figures and other such things. Oh, yeah. There's. Uh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, so Jesus Christ. People just, just people in general are fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, God, I, I might actually be sick now. Great. You're welcome. Why, why would you do this to me? Anyway, time to talk about something much less sickening. Edward! <laughs> <laughs> He's just... He just makes me seethe with rage. He just makes me real sad. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just reminded how stupid people were 200 years ago. <laughs> and the fact that they're not much smarter now. People just were slightly. Never smart to begin with. Just slightly. Slightly. Oh, God, but we're on page 207. I was about to say there's 264 pages. Mm -hmm. We're within 50. <sighs> we should well, have been done by now. <laughs> we keep getting distracted. Like right now. Us? Distracted? Never. You need to give me like a long-winded essay about how... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Well, you see, I think you might suffer from ADHD. <laughs> Well, you see, it's not a think, it's a, I actually have it. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. Well, yeah. It's a whole bunch of attention deficit idiots trying to run a podcast about reading things. <laughs> no wonder we can't read. Bella cared for me, too. <laughs> it's a really short sentence. <laughs> Dear God, is it still breaking? I had to take care of something real quick, my bad. Now you're sitting down, I had to look for something <laughs> real quick. My parents just put a lot of stuff in my room, because whatever the fuck, yeah, I'm moving into an apartment. They bought a lot of the stuff I need for the apartment. Okay. So, you know, it's just everywhere, I had to move it. Yeah. Oh, God. I know it could be nothing in comparison to how I loved her. What? <laughs> she cares about me, but not nearly as much as I care about her. This isn't a contest, Edward. It isn't. Or it shouldn't be. 
Not really, no. Imagine you're falling in love with someone only for them to want to outdo you constantly. I mean, in some regards, that could be a kismesis, but... Well, we're humans, not trolls, so shut up. Yeah, yeah, you and your weird, simple romances. Right, because hating people's a natural thing to do anyways. <laughs> uh, but it was enough for her to risk her life to sit here with me, to do so gladly. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I gladly risk death. I long for it. No, oh God. <laughs> Don't remind me of the second book in which Edward refers to Juliet's suicide as beautiful and enviable. Is that something you want to do in a thing marketed towards teenagers? No. No, you don't. <sighs> Edward, you're almost, you're about 200 years old. You should be smarter than that. <laughs> Unless his brain's stuck in constant teenager, in which case... Dear God, just... that sounds ter just terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm 21, and I wish I was way further down in my brain maturity. <laughs> I wish I was already, like, crotchety old man. Technically speaking, you don't stop... Uh, your brain doesn't... Uh, isn't fully developed until you reach 25. Yeah, exactly. My, my brain juice isn't all there, dude. You don't understand consequences yet. Was it that or? Yeah, it's it like similar. It's like I don't think it was consequences. Though. Like consequences is one of the things that you don't fully understand until after your brain stops developing, not stops completely. <laughs> yeah. I now just... that I'm dead, I fully understand the consequences of my actions. I forgot if they defined it as thinking about consequences or something else, though. I think a more broader turn is what I'm thinking of, trying to think of. Maybe. Oh, man, I'm really tired right now. To cause her pain if I did the right thing and left her. I think most people would be kind of upset if you just deserted them. Yeah, Even sadly. if it is you, Edward. <laughs> Was there anything I could do now that would not hurt her? Anything at all? Nope. Just shut up. How about You're that? You're fucked either way. And not just by her. <laughs> Congratulations, Edward. You played yourself. <laughs> I should have stayed away. I should have I should never have come back to Forks. I would cause her nothing but pain. How emo. Would that yes. stop me from staying now? From making it worse? Should I say or should I go now? Ah. <sighs> The way I felt right now, feeling her warmth against my skin. No, nothing would stop me. Okay. <laughs> if I stay, there will be trouble, but if I go, it will be double. No, if I go, there will be trouble, but if I stay, it will be double. Duh. <laughs> We're here to cause some trouble. Make it double. God damn. Ah, I groan myself. This is wrong. Well, yes, she's a minor. You're 200. This is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's very wrong, Edward. <laughs> what did I say? Asked Bell. She asked, quick to take the blame on herself. Because she has very low self-esteem, and it's very concerning. <laughs> she should probably have been seeing a therapist ages ago. <laughs> Don't just... <laughs> yes. I just... I'm not... There's not much I can say about that. Because, right. yeah, but like... Just that delayed reaction. <laughs> yeah! I don't really have a clever thing to say about that. Just, yeah, she, she has some problems. I don't think Edward's healthy for those problems. <laughs> Well, you see, according to the author, all you need to solve the problems you have upstairs is love. <laughs> love conquers all. <laughs> totally is gonna fix my depression. <laughs> Self-love will, not somebody else's love. Uh, medication and a, and a therapist might. Yeah, you and know. what they usually give you is cognitive behavioral therapy, which is pretty much teaching you to not think bad. Yeah, basically teaching you to act, uh, to like love yourself instead of seeing everything as your fault. 
That's because it's mostly your fault. And by your fault, I mean Lydic specifically. <laughs> well, I mean, I am the prob- I am the cause of every problem on, the- on Earth. I'm glad I you really dropped the ball in the 2016 election. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> Let's hope I don't drop the ball in 2020. <laughs> Please don't. I've already had enough of the guy that you lost to. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out, this entire time, I was the guy with the boot on his head. <laughs> God damn it. Don't you see, Bella? It's one thing for me to make myself miserable, but a whole wholly other thing for you to be so involved. I don't want to hear you feel that way. Sucks, because I want to, she says. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is one person talking about a therapy session they had, in which literally, like, the therapist was just shooting them with a Nerf gun every time they insulted themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that. Reddit, whatever <laughs> post, Twitter, whatever it was. But I, I don't, it just pulls out Nerf gun, starts shooting her every time she says something negative about herself. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was the truth. It was a lie. The most selfish part of me was flying with the knowledge that she wanted me. Uh, that she wanted me as I wanted her. It's wrong. <laughs> Not safe. I'm dangerous, Bella. Please grasp that. She, she literally oh, likes me. Oh. <laughs> please grasp that firmly. Please, please grasp me. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, easy joke, but that's the easiest way to take that phrase, Bella. Please grasp me. <laughs> Uh, no. Her lips patted petuitantly. Petulantly. Petulantly. Which I don't know the exact definition of it. I know what it tends to mean in context. Uh, so... Uh, childishly sulky or bad-tempered. Ah, he's calling her a child. How Edward-like. Yeah. Pouted petulantly. Uh, I don't really know what it says about the writer when they say the character pouts like a child. I don't really think that's a good thing. I mean, it depends on the person. Like, typically, it's the whole thing of like you have to be pl- uh, for that sort of thing to work. You have to be playing around with each other at that point, in which the pouting itself is actually a joke. But in this case, I don't think it is. Either that, or she's taking it as a joke, and he's being serious. <laughs> <laughs> That could be it, yeah. I could very how dangerous, Bella. Please understand that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to be mature. No. I'm not going to take your warning seriously. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I was battling with myself so strongly. Half desperate for her to accept, half desperate for her to keep the warnings from escaping, that the words came my te- uh, came through my teeth as a growl. Ah, uh, yes, growling at Bella. That'll help. I'm serious. Grr, I'm serious, Bella. Grr. Oh God! Describing what he's doing as growling just makes kind of hard to take seriously. Well. That's the thing. I don't think you're supposed to take care of him seriously at all, ever. Saying like he's saying it through gritted teeth or something. I'm serious. That's one thing. Saying he growled it. I'm serious. Bella, I'm... <laughs> you're what? I think that's more just purring. <laughs> I'm not a big enough scary dog to growl. <laughs> Did you just call me a furry? What? No. Since I did growl. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that makes you a bigger dog than me. I'm probably like, I don't know, a Shiba, <laughs> and you're like a, a, what do they call the big ones? Dachshund or whatever. <laughs> no, Dachshunds are wiener dogs. Oh. I don't um, think those are bigger than a sheep. 
Let's see. Pitbull. Let's go with that one. You're you're one of the big ones called Docs. <laughs> <laughs> that make, sorry, I'm just a chihuahua. Everything's big to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know those big dogs. The dachshund, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that would be the kind of expe- thing you expect in like a move, like like one of the movies that's trying to like emulate the whole Three Stooges thing or Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's a dachshund back there. We can't do it. It's a dachshund. You just cares look about a dachshund. Like a, it's, oh god, it's like a fucking Great Dane. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just... Yeah, man, that's one of those big dogs, like a dachshund or something. Just everyone else just kind of looks at it like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, it really is just a straight, meaner dog. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there are also miniature dachshunds, which are even smaller. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, that must be. That dog's probably got problems. Ugh. Oh, oh my I gosh, mean... it's a picture of the dog and a hot dog. <laughs> I, I I owned a dachshund for a while, and it was about the size of the neighbor's chihuahua. I'm a miniature dachshund for a while, and it was about the size of the neighbor's chihuahua. Did they get along? Uh, I mean, they would bark at each other from a distance, but then like just sit next to each other when they got close. Huh. Uh, anyone who's uh, listened to us for a while might recognize uh, the dachshund as Frankie. Uh, which in that one episode of I think My Immortal uh, was howling in the background. Is Frankie still here with us? No, he he passed away like last month. Old wow. age. Do, should we attribute this episode to Frankie? For Frankie. Anyway. Oh God, now I'm just sad. Okay. Whoops. Uh, I believe it's your line. Oh, shit. So am I. Oh, shit. What up? Here comes my line. (laughs) So am I, she insisted. I told you it doesn't matter what you are. It's too late, Edward. You're stuck. I'm already in your car. (laughs) (laughs) What are you going to do? Kick me out? (laughs) Too late. The word was bleakly black and white for one endless second as I watched the shadows crawl across the sunny lawn towards Bella's sleeping form in my memory. Inevitable. Unstoppable. They stole the color from her skin and plunged her into darkness. <laughs> Too late. Alice's vision swore into my head, Bella's blood red eyes staring back at me impassively, expressionless. But there's no way that she could not hate me for that future, hate me for stealing everything from her, stealing her life and her soul. Imagine if vampirism worked by, like, literally becoming a vampire, and then, like, every time you suck someone's blood out, they become a vampire and you stop being a vampire. <laughs> so it's like It Follows, but with the vampire curse? I guess? I don't know what It Follows is. Uh, okay. Uh, it was, uh, like an anachronistic horror movie that came out a while back. Uh, that basically played with, like, horror's relationship with, like, sex. Ew. And I so see. literally... Literally, what would happen is that the killer was sexually transmitted. (laughs) Oh. So, like, if you were being followed by the thing, and you had sex with someone, it would start following them. (laughs) I need to have sex to save my life. And it was invisible to anyone who it wasn't following. Ah, that kind of horror. And then after it killed that person, it would go back to the person who transmitted it to them. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, so there wasn't, there there was no escape. There was no true escape, and it was actually rather interestingly done, and that's all I'm going to really get into, and even then, that's technically spoilers, is that's something you don't find out until after the main character ends up getting it. (laughs) You piece of shit. What are you doing back here? 
which is like 15 minutes in or something like that. So. How dare you spoil a movie 15 minutes in? <laughs> You're a horrible person. I can't believe you do well, that. It's one of those things where it's like, typically for that sort of thing, you want to go in blind. But Yeah. But yeah, I'm just thinking like vampirism where like, he's, he mentioned like his soul being taken away. Yeah. I'm thinking like it's, they're, they're literally taking away her soul and it's like transmutes to him. <laughs> I now have your soul. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I mean, granted, in the old days, it was believed the vampires straight up just didn't have souls, and that was the reason why they didn't have a reflection in mirrors, because mirrors were silver-backed, and silver was considered as a considered to be a holy metal, therefore it rejected anything soulless. That's dumb. Of course, the same was also believed. Uh, it was also believed that werewolves and anything not exactly human lacked a soul. And that's why little Timmy's pet fish isn't going to heaven. And that's why Ariel didn't get a get an afterlife, and she instead just turned to sea foam upon her death. Really? Yeah, uh, the original, uh, like French story tell, the Little Mermaid. Yeah, the she whole thing is foam. the whole thing is that mer uh, like mermaids didn't have souls, and so, uh, and uh. So, being as she never managed to successfully become fully human when she kills herself at the end, she turns into Sifa. How depressing. And the reason that happens is because of the fact that the dude she wanted, uh, the human she wanted to hook up with, hooked up with, uh, ended up marrying someone else. <laughs> and it was a whole thing of, all right, well, you have two options. Either you stab his heart out and get a soul that way and become truly human. Or, just or, die. You, well, or you die. And she's like, I choose death? Uh, she almost did, but watching him sleeping, she couldn't bring herself to do it. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, at least she's not a murderer when she died. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just doesn't have an afterlife, and so she just ceases to exist. That'd be pretty cool, just ceasing to exist. <laughs> yeah, that's not existentially terrifying. What line are we on? <laughs> oh, okay. It could not be too late. Why not? Now it's your line. Wow, I already lost my place. Second line on page 208. <laughs> never say that, I hissed. Never so, say never. So, Bella. <laughs> never say that. I stared, uh, well, she stared out her window, her teeth bit into her lip again, her hands were balled into tight fists in her lap, her breathing hitched and broke. Who broke her breathing? Is Bellabot EXE not working? <laughs> Bellabot EXE has shut down. <laughs> what are you thinking? I had to know. She shook her head without looking at me. I saw something glistle, glisten, like a crystal on her cheek. She was turning into diamonds. <laughs> Why did you say that like the fucking panther from uh, that one Dingo Pictures film? I don't know. I've never seen that. Diamonds. <laughs> diamonds. Agony. Are you crying? I'd made her cry. I'd hurt her that much. A uh, teenager. From what we've seen, quite possibly depressed. Only reason she's not getting help is because the writer is Mormon. They're kind of anti a lot of medicines. Yeah, I've heard that some people are anti psychology like counselors for some reason. That too, although the reason given for why she doesn't start seeing a therapist in this, after the whole thing of finding out all that shit if memory serves, is the fact that she wouldn't be able to explain it to the therapist. Um which, uh, I'm just going to say it, Lucifer managed to get this to work because of the fact that the therapist assumed it was all metaphor. <laughs> I'm a vampire, or I'm, or I'm dating a vampire. Oh so my I'm gosh, dating I'm vamp- dating a vampire, and she's just like, hmm, I see. I'm dating a vampire, so. Dump him. <laughs> I'm dating a vampire, so are you saying that this is because they leave you emotionally drained, or... <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, they're literally a bloodsucker. 
Ah, I see. 911, I like to report cannibalism. <laughs> the colons. Back, <laughs> just thinking back to like Lucifer, it's the whole thing of like. Well, actually, uh, consensual blood drinking I, uh, is something that wouldn't have any laws against it, as well as uh, like non lethal forms of cannibalism, so long as you get the person's consent for it, weirdly enough. Uh, like cannibalism. cannibalism Cannibalism is not illegal in the United States. Corpse desecration, uh, uh, yeah, corpse desecration and grave robbing is. So I just have to donate myself to a cannibal? <laughs> Technically, yeah. I'm gonna donate my dick to a cannibal because he can keep my dick. I mean, technically speaking, something kind of like that happened, only the guy was still alive. Oh, there's no point in being alive. No, well, oh no, this one was weird. It was, an online, it was an online forum where these two guys met up, and this was a real thing. I thought it was a uh, Craigslist ad or something similar. It was something like that, but literally, like, there's footage of, like, the one guy just, like, eating the guy's dick after he had cooked it up and holding a conversation with a man whose dick he was eating. Ugh. And I found out that apparently in, like, an independent film made based on the things, uh, one of the guys, uh, like, this one guy who's known for doing, like, analysis of, like, Hellraiser movies plays the cannibal. And he's vegan, so they had to make him a vegan penis to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I have a vegan pee-pee. <laughs> oh, God. That just sounds amazing. A vegan penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'd eat dick, but I'm a vegan. <laughs> oh, God. Where's that one? Oh, God. There's a picture out there. Uh... Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. Because it was like one of those jokes of like when she says she's going to eat your meat, but uh, but she's vegan and meat, it, uh, and meat is murder. And it was just like a cucumber shaved into the shape of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, I am searching cucumber penis right now. <laughs> I think we've already established I search up weird things on here. No, these are ones that are naturally in the shape of one. Naturally shaped cucumber penises. That's not what I was looking for. Also, a really weirdly floppy cucumber. Ugh. That one just makes me uncomfortable. I just can't stand floppy cucumbers, dude. Yeah, that's just weird. It's not even like it's truly floppy. It's just that it curls. Ugh, no. Like a full U-shaped cucumber. Disgusting. That's that's uncomfortable. Yeah. Anyway, she scrubbed the tears away with the back of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> she bitch slapped her tears away. Uh, no, she lied, her voice breaking. Are you crying? No! <laughs> no, sh shut up. You're crying. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Some... She shoves onions in her face. <laughs> Some long-buried instinct had me reaching out toward her. In that one second, I felt more human than I ever had. And I remembered that I was not. And I lowered my hand. God, that was... Ah. Don't act like the vampires in this don't show compassion to each other. Don't act like you weren't, aren't technically human due to the fact of being having born... been... human. That Holy too. Shit. Yeah, you're not an emotionless troll. Huh? Get it? <laughs> Please that hurts, man. Me. <laughs> Please don't kill me. It's only a joke, sir. I do not mean it. Please, sir. Can I have some go? It's <laughs> really your line. I'm sorry, I said, my jaw locked. How could I even tell her how sorry I was? Sorry for all the stupid mistakes I'd made. Sorry for the never-ending selfishness. Sorry, for, sorry that she was so unfortunate as to have inspired this first tragic love of mine. Sorry also for the things beyond my control. That I'd been the monster chosen by fate to end her life in the first place. 
Okay, I'm just going to say it. If you've went an entire 200 years without feeling the least bit attracted to anyone, I don't think that you're ever going to feel that way. I think you might just be asexual. <laughs> yeah, or he's been depressed for 200 years, in which case... Well, you could be depressed and still attracted to people. Yeah, but... Maybe, maybe not Edward's... necessarily romantically, but definitely sexually. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, don't know. Rom oftentimes romantically. My name's not Ewardo. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I haven't dealt with depression and self-loathing for 200 years yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I took a deep breath, ignored my wretched, re uh, wretched reaction to the flavor in the car, and tried to collect myself. I can't hold all of these Edwards. <laughs> you can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I, why can't I hold all these Edwards? <laughs> and it's Edward? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Edward can't hold all the Edwards, dude. <laughs> Just a bunch of tiny Edwards. You know, maybe then he'd be more likable. Because then he'd only be about four inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot less to hate. <laughs> There's a lot less of Edward to hate, so he's good now. <laughs> <laughs> His voice is all high-pitched, so you can't take him like any of the stupid shit he says seriously. <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> Everything around me is terrible. <laughs> Aw, poor little mini Edward. A black I'm hole that destroys everything I touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just pat the top of his head. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanted to change the subject to think of something else. Lucky for me, my curiosity about telling this about the girl was insatiable. I, I always had a question. Lucky for me, my oh god damn it. Baby, don't hurt me. Tell me something, I said. No. Do you know the cats have barbed penises? <laughs> <laughs> not, that's not what I meant. <laughs> yes, she asks huskily, tears in her voice. Yes. <laughs> well, no, it'd be more like, yes. Huskily, really? tends, cry to like mean that? That she, huskily tends to mean that she's like, her voice has gotten deeper. She's so. So I've going. I've gone insane. I thought that said something else completely. What huskily? I thought huskily was a different word. Mm. Wow, well, I'm really tired, dude. What were you thinking about just before I came around the corner? I couldn't understand your expression. You didn't look scared. You just looked like you were concentrated on concentrating on something very hard. I, yeah, I, was, I didn't know you were there. I didn't I care you were there. I was concentrating on not being raped. <laughs> yeah, that is something you should concentrate on. Mm -hmm. I was five seconds. So I was just like half a second away from pulling out the taser. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered her face, forcing myself to forget those eyes I was looking through. The deter uh, the look of determination there. I was trying to remember how. To inca incapacitate an attacker. Wait, really? Always remember to sing. <laughs> she said her voice more composed. You know, self-defense. I was going to smash his nose into his brain. Her composure did not last to the end of the, her explanation. Her tone twisted until it seethed with hate. This was no hyperbole, and her kittenish fury was not humorous, humorous now. I could see her frail figure just silk over glass, overshadowed by the meaty, heavy-fisted human monsters who would have hurt her. Fear built in the back of my head. Then he remembered that Bella's some weird owl cannibal thing. I don't get it. Then she remembered that Bella's father is a cop, and she, there's a good chance that she would have some inkling of how to defend herself. <laughs> that also, too. maybe she's been seen Miss Congeniality. Always remember to sing Solar Plexus in step nose groin. <laughs> What's a solar plexus? It's basically like the area of the stomach where the diaphragm is. Ah, uh, so you go for the stomach first, not the nose? Well, if you hit that, they're unable to breathe properly. Oh. Because they can't take a full breath. 
I see. It was the whole thing. Uh, the whole thing is if someone reminds you, uh, if someone grabs you from behind, remember to sing. Solar Plexus, uh, when she was, she was like, the character was demonstrating this on stage. So, uh, Solar Plexus, she elbows the guy, like, right underneath the rib cage. Ooh. In step, stomps, like, right at the middle of his foot. Which is where it hurts the most, because that's the area that isn't fully on the ground. Ah. Nose. Like just head butted him, uh, like head butted the like his uh, like smashed his nose with the back of her head, and then groin just punched him in the dick. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to be punched in the dick for this demonstration. <laughs> yeah, it was the whole thing. Like, uh, like the whole thing is that it's an under, it's like an undercover cop, like uh, going undercover for a Miss America pageant in an, a Miss America pageant to figure out like who's because uh, there's someone who's apparently like killed somebody related to it. Oh. And the whole thing is like for the talent competition, she she demonstrates self defense. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Did she at least get the permission from the guy to punch him? Uh, it was a cop. Uh, it was a coworker of hers. <laughs> okay, good. So another cop. <laughs> was he also undercover? Uh, where he serves, he was. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Just used him as a volunteer. <laughs> you were going to fight them. I wanted to groan. Her instincts were deadly to herself. Again, remember to sing. <laughs> Also, go for the throat. If they can't breathe, they can't hurt you. This is getting pretty dark. <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, I, think, I mean, I guess just having to use the self-defense in general is pretty dark. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why pe why more people should know how to defend themselves. I mean, yeah. Not definitely not victim blaming. Not blaming this on anyone who isn't able to defend themselves. It's just a good precautionary measure. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, didn't you think about running? I fall down when I run. <laughs> she said... <laughs> and people fall down when I kick them in the balls. <laughs> so, between me falling down and other people falling down, you can see where my priorities were. <laughs> <laughs> what about screaming for help? I was getting to that. Shut up. Well, for one, when you throw a punch, it typically helps if you yell, because for one, you're getting excess air out of your lungs that wouldn't be gotten out, so you're able to take a more full oxygen-heavy breath afterwards. Just scream out, Doria! <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No, 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 you just start screaming Muda over and over. Uh, Muda over and over. Muda, 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 Muda! <laughs> You don't even you don't even hit him yet, but you're just swinging around yelling "Mude." <laughs> you know, it's just like as you're approaching. <laughs> oh, so you're approaching me? <laughs> Instead of running away, well, I have to get closer to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> well, then get as close as you like. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this would all be better if we just made Bella Jotaro. <laughs> Bella has a stand. She's just That's wearing cool. like the really stupid looking like jacket. <laughs> and that half hat. <laughs> <laughs> just like the word menacing in Japanese just over and over in the background behind her. <laughs> Live action Jotaro. Okay, I have to look at this. What oh, is it? I'm looking at live action, like, you know, JoJo. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's how they do it in real life. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Kujo Jotaro hat. Yeah. It's like his hair goes around the hat. So yeah. That looks, that's how it looks like a half hat. It makes me think he's balding, though. Well, okay, that one I haven't. Uh, I did see one where, like, it literally is a hat. Uh, half of a hat? Oh god, that cosplayer's facial expression. Uh, but yeah, basically to where it's just like the hat doesn't have a back to it. Is what I'm seeing that with a lot of the cosplays. Off. I mean, it depends on how you have it fitted. Yeah. 
And then I saw this. Anyways, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it you're already, you're already Dawes, right? <laughs> is it my uh, line? I believe it's my line, actually, because you oh, said shit. I was getting to that part. I shook my head in disbelief. How should she manage to stay alive before she'd come to Forks? I don't know. Maybe there aren't apparently as many people trying to assault people in Phoenix, Arizona. I guess the heat kind of just makes that a bad idea. <laughs> I'd love to go robbing some people today, but it's just too hot. You know, I would sexually assault a woman. But the heat! <laughs> <laughs> the only it's thing like that's getting fucked is me. Degrees out. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that was a bad joke. Mm-hmm. I liked it though, don't worry. Well, so long as you're not making fun of the victim, it's not, not it's usually not terrible to make those kinds of jokes. It's, yeah, it's if you're making, making fun of the, fun. like, so long as you're making fun of the perpetrator. Mm-hmm. Like calling them people who are too lazy to actually try talking to someone. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna risk the cops, because talking is too hard. <laughs> talking is too hard. <laughs> I could always just ask someone about their uh, ask someone about their day. See if we can maybe get the thing uh, get one thing to lead to another. Hi. Or I could just attack someone in a back alley. <laughs> Hi, are you looking for a one night stand? Because I'm your guy. <laughs> anyway, after today, you won't see me ever again. So don't worry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> anyway, you're lying now. Is it, though? Yes. You were right, I told her. A sour etched in voice. I'm definitely fighting fate trying to keep you alive. Again. That's why Belly needs to pull out a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna smash his nose in with a bullet. <laughs> That's it. You lost your penis privileges. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun trying to do something. Is oh, this dude. actually what happened in the actual book? Like, was she actually worried about getting raped or attacked or whatever? Uh, if memories... Uh, it has been a while, but I think it was a whole thing of, oh, shit, okay, how do I incapacitate someone again? What happened? Uh, did some rando show up? It was the uh, it was those dudes in that back alley. Like, she turned the corner and ended up, like, they popped up, and then Edward drove in out of nowhere, and was like, get in my car! And then drove off. <laughs> My car, now. Yeah, and then drove off and was all, like, angry and shit. Like, I want to eviscerate them. You don't know what they were thinking. Bell's like, like, yes, I do. Back alley. I think I have a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I hate it. Words so much. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this man so much. It's, it's the patronizing thing. He is, and I hate You it. can't defend yourself, you have a vagina! <laughs> oh, shit. I accidentally dropped Spider-Man's head. Oh, no. Not Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, there we go. She what sighed and glanced out the window. Then she looked back at Spider -Man? me. It's a lamp. I've already shown you a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet again, Spider-Man! And I'll have your head next time. I'll have and your this... head and I'll stuff a light in it. In this, conve... <laughs> in this really convenient merchandising. <laughs> it's a spitzy spider was lying up my room. <laughs> <sighs> Will I see you tomorrow? She demanded abruptly. No. Good. <laughs> As long as I have my, uh, as long as I was on my way to hell, I might as well journey. <laughs> I could just imagine I end up in hell, and it's just them forcing me to be in a conversation with somebody I don't want to be. <laughs> For the last time, Hitler, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> I don't care if this is the way out. I, I just don't <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like not even like it's not even a really aggressive Hitler. It's like he's like it would be like a door to door sales. Wanting to talk Hitler. to you about his art career? Yes, <laughs> he's trying to show me his art, and I just refuse. I don't care about your paintings of buildings. 
<laughs> it's like, he just looks at you really too the whole time. Just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you lose your place again? Huh? Did you lose your place? Oh. I didn't know that was an actual line. I thought you were making a joke. No. As long as I was on my no. way. Yes, I have a paper due too. I smiled at her and she f- and it felt good to do this. I'll save you a seat at lunch. Her heart fluttered. My dead heart suddenly felt warmer. I just just picture like Edward sits with his like family, right? Yeah, usually. Is this the part where he she becomes friends with what's her face? Alice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jasper, don't eat her. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's just like, what? You heard that? N- nothing. God damn it. Ugh. I stopped the car in front of her father's house. She made a. Will you please get out of the car? <laughs> I have to finish the paper. <laughs> I need all the time I can get. I don't have a computer in my car. <laughs> Do you promise to be there tomorrow? No. <laughs> please? Pretty please. I'll let you sniff my socks, you freak. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I don't know. You just gave me flashbacks to that, uh, that video game, Kindergarten. Oh, that they had the one that they were just released number two on. So everyone. Yeah, the one they released it. a sequel to. Yeah, I think the first talking. one has a love letter from one of the other, uh, from one of the characters to another one. <laughs> and uh it's like he likes to sniff uh he likes to sniff Lily's chair. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's like the rhyme set up, you think it's gonna be hair. It's like, oh god. <laughs> uh, that just sounds like a horrible love letter. Uh, it, it started out actually not half bad until it got to that line. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <sighs> Anyways, uh... Did you say I promise? I promise. How could doing the wrong thing give me so much happiness? <laughs> because, shut up, Edward. Gambling. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> I was playing Mario, and you said that, and I just slipped into a hole right when you said that. <laughs> you tripped me up so bad with that. Why would you say that? <laughs> God damn it. Should I fold and keep all the money I just won? Or should I go all in? <laughs> all in. <laughs> oh shit, I lost it all. She died to herself. Says face, says you. My jacket. <laughs> I didn't even say my line. Oh, oh wait. Oh, surely there was something amiss in that. There we go. Now your line. She nodded to herself, satisfied, and started to remove her jacket. She wants the H. Ooh, the hentai? No, the, the hoodie. Oh. Depending on the girl, it might be the hint, but usually it's the hoodie. Never. That's my hoodie. Literally, I'd be wearing nothing underneath it. (laughs) Well, usually it's more that she just, like, steals it from your house. That's just horrible. Why would you be with somebody who's who's okay with stealing? (laughs) I think we'd- I know why you're single. (laughs) Yeah, because I don't date thieves, buddy. But no, it's typically the whole thing of you end up holding on to like some item of clothing of your partner that you can wear from time to time that smells like them. 
Oh and yeah, usually, so I'll just buy. Th- I'll just wear their shirts. Usually, if it's your boyfriend's hoodie, you now have a hoodie with actual pockets. But if I take her clothing, it's just creepy. Well, if you start wearing her underwear, usually yes. Well, I'm not even. You, you said if underwear. You, if, I just said clothing. Well, usually the other clothing that's going to be less of an issue unless you like steal a pair of booty shorts from her. Oh yeah, just I'm gonna wear them just for her. <laughs> Well, also, that's different. It's not like you just took them out to public. <laughs> in the public. I will, if she tells me to. Not really, who cares? I'm not actually going outside. <laughs> <laughs> nah, someday we'll get you tender. <laughs> Wait, did you say tender or tender? Tender. Ew, why tender? I don't really like online dating. It seems like a bad idea. Well, how else are you supposed to hook up? <laughs> you don't okay. go outside. <laughs> I'll go outside when I'm ready. How about that, buddy? I'm pretty sure those poor people delivering groceries to you don't don't want you to try and hook up with them. I don't order groceries online, so there you go. Huh. I mean, that'd be really convenient. Yeah, you know what's also good? Walking outside and going to the store. Good point. That's typically healthier. Yeah, I had to walk to Walmart the other day, and that's, you know... Yes. Not exactly next door. I mean, I have a Dollar General that's, like, two kilometers away from me. Yeah, but that's Dollar General, dude. Yes, really but I can that? pick up ma- milk on the on the cheap. And, I and remember pretzels. Dollar General was actually a dollar. And soda. But no longer a dollar. It's a lying place. Well, I, I'd be really concerned if a 12-pack do- of, oh, 12, a 12 of soda cost me a dollar. <laughs> what did you do? What happened to this soda? How how low quality is this off-brand shit? <laughs> <laughs> you could keep it, I assured her quietly. I rather wanted to leave her with something of myself. That's pretty gay. Sorry. Yes, the heteronormative thing is pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> you do things like your girlfriend? What are you, gay? <laughs> <laughs> She handed it back to me, smiling ruefully. I don't want to have to explain it to Charlie, she told me. I didn't finish my line. You know what? Maybe you should have. You interrupted me. But you a know token, what? I'm like sorry. Like the bottle cap that was in my pocket. You don't have a jacket for tomorrow. She handed it back to me, smiling ruefully. don't know what jacket she does and doesn't have. Yeah, she, yeah he does. He, lives, he goes to her house with But he doesn't root through her closet, her drawers. Oh, that's just the part that she, Stephanie Myers doesn't tell you about. <laughs> you see, he never saw any jackets. Therefore, she has no jackets. Yep. Looks slightly to the right, and there's the clothes chair, and it's just piled with jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Is it my line again? Uh, I believe it's... I mean, basically, it's just the whole thing. of don't want to explain me coming home in a strange jacket to my dad. <laughs> Especially because he's a cop. I'm just thinking back to the scene, and I think the second movie in which he's cleaning a shotgun is like, he's cur- uh, yeah, Edward's currently outside. All right, send him in. Closes up the shotgun. <laughs> it's like a break action double barrel. <laughs> oh, he's going. <laughs> All right, send him in. That always seems like a red flag to me. If you're <laughs> like. I don't really think I, I the father think was, is a very sane person if he's willing to bring out a gun like that. I think it was less... I think it was more just a timing thing that made it work because of the fact that he was cleaning his gun at the moment, which is something that if you do want to do... I hope you're clean your guns. And so it was a whole thing of, like, he he was doing that right when it turned out that Bella had invited Edward over. <laughs> <laughs> Better close this before he gets here. Could be dangerous it's like, all right. this out. <laughs> like, all right, close it, like, gets the shotgun ready, bring him in. So that at least felt more like a joke. That wasn't one of those whole things of, I will shoot your boyfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, that at least felt like it was more comical than anything else. Like, he was actually making a joke. Do you know what would be, like, a really big mood? <laughs> just having, like, one of those, like, dads like that, or just, like, I'll beat the shit out of you if you do anything to my daughter kind of get dads. Mm-hmm. And then you have the person there, just not even afraid, or like you know, 
you know what I mean though like the dad's just there just oh I'm gonna shoot you if you do anything bad to my girl girl and it's just the the girl's just like why weren't you afraid of my dad and she's like why should I be afraid I'm not planning to do anything stupid <laughs> or like I'm not planning to cheat on you to the point where he'd need I'm to beat not me up planning you know? on cheating on you or dumping you via text <laughs> yeah so, so or why should Facebook I be or Facebook update <laughs> that's the real scummy way to do it you just post it as a status I don't even have a face. Mm. Honestly, if my girlfriend did that to me, I'd be because I wouldn't even be aware because I don't check Facebook. <laughs> Wait, when did you break up with me? Uh, you know, like a couple of days ago over Facebook. What is this happen? I'm out of the loop. Wait, you've still been staying in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. I I paid for the lease in full this time, so uh, bye. Oh, no, 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 it's just I'm imagining, well, yeah, I was, I still paid this month, I still paid my rent for this month, so. <laughs> I just want to make use of it. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you until I decided to move out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, would, I, I would imagine not. I smiled at her. Oh, right. <laughs> so. One more page, I suppose. Uh, at least one more. At least we started this at around forty, and it's currently thirty-six. So, really, it says it started at uh, nine. Oh, oh shit! And that wasn't even the first thing in that block, so it could have been after. She put her hand on the door handle and then stopped, unwilling to leave, just as I was unwilling to go. And then she left because she's a big girl. I hate to watch her leave, but I love. I hate to see her leave, but I love to watch her go. <laughs> got him. She's got a great ass. <laughs> Shouldn't be saying that about a teenage character. <laughs> it sucks growing older because all the characters you thought were hot, it's just now you're a pedophile. Uh, I mean, honestly, that's just the more the thing that annoys me about the majority of manga and anime. In fact, of all these people are underage, and yet you're treating them as just fan service. It's really uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It's not even like a... Like a... Like... I, I, it's not even a, I hate the fact that I'm attracted to this person. It's more just, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Why are you making me uncomfortable? Please stop. <laughs> Please stop sexualizing this 15-year-old. This is really uncomfortable. Sir, you're an adult. Please stop. <laughs> Sir, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Writer, sir, please sir. stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, God, now I'm just thinking about Sword Art Online Progressive. Progressive? Like, uh, it's from basic- Progressive? No, it's uh, it's basically like a retelling of the Einkrad arc. Uh, like, a better written version of it. Uh, Granite, the guy's still not the best writer. But it's still better than the original. But it still has awkward moments where in which he's trying to do fan service in his uh, in this uh, light novel. So you know, like written, written oh, out fan service. No, 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 no. That's even worse because it can be oh. done well, but not not for not the way oh. not the way he writes. And not whenever you need to have a moment in which you're describing the fact that Asuna is taking a bath. Or her panty drawer. Why does she have that in a video game in which she could literally just put all of her clothing in hammer space? I on. <laughs> she took out her panties from her panty drawer. Just something that she uses to flex on people. Well, no, it's She was Kira the only Tose. person in the game with like 10 different versions of panties, all with different gear stats. For some That's reason, Kirito's like rough, like uh, rifling through them, and it's like you literally just like decided to break world building for a second so you could have this scene. Why was he even rifling through there? Nah, he was looking does for she something. Keep... <laughs> I was about to say, does she keep a rifle in her, in her panty drawer? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I keep my gun in with my underwear. <laughs> No one expects it. (laughs) Just an entire 12-gauge shotgun. It's a very wide drawer. (laughs) uh, It was one of those things. It was like, 
and uh because uh mother's basement that guy uh did uh it was like called a thing he started up called the basement book club and so it was talking about issue one and it was one of the things he brought up is like i have no problem with fan service so long as everyone present is enjoying it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> if your fan service is predicated on one of the characters, if the uh, the character whose body is uh, whose body is the fan service not enjoying the situation they're in, it's not <laughs> good. <laughs> like that's what makes bad etchy is whenever one of the character, like the character who's being the fan service at that moment, isn't enjoying the situation they're in. <laughs> yeah. If if they're like, hey, look at my body, that's one thing. <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> Witness me. <laughs> <laughs> look upon me. And oh god, what's the oh god? I was gonna say, look upon me, like like the opposite of look upon me in despair. Look upon me in. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Oh god, what's a good word for uh god damn Look at me in this pair. <laughs> Look upon me in this pair of shorts <laughs> that show off my legs. <laughs> Look at my legs. Look at them. <laughs> These will be wrapped around you tonight. <laughs> Is it my life? <laughs> Oh god, that's like perfect stupid couple shit. Mm-hmm. To have her unprotected, even for a few moments. Peter and Charlotte well were well on their way by now, long past Seattle, no doubt. But there were always others. This world was not a safe place for any human, and for her it seemed to be more dangerous than it was for the rest. You're just, just saying things. Because someone tried to assault her, she's it's more dangerous of a world for her than anyone else, despite the fact that, from what we could tell, there was a good chance that she probably could have been able to at least take down the one guy that was serious about this. <laughs> Again, kick him in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> he looked like the only serious one there, so I kicked him in the balls. <laughs> he was approaching me, so I broke his nose. <laughs> I crushed his throat. <laughs> I did this thing called sing. (laughs) (laughs) I punched him in the solar plexus, stomped on his foot, broke his nose, and then kneed him in the groin. Needless to say, he didn't like any of that. Needless to say, he wasn't standing for much longer. (laughs) (laughs) I also maybe stomped on his hand for good measure. I think I heard something break. Long story short, it's fine if it's a 1v1. I then called my dad. <laughs> who was who immediately sent a cop over because he can't. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, okay. Uh okay, yeah. Uh that Bella, worked. I asked, surprised at the pleasure there was in simply speaking her name. Yes. Will you promise me something? No. <laughs> Yes, she agreed easily, but then her eyes tightened as if she thought about of a reason to object. Yes. Wait. <laughs> Don't go into the woods alone, I warned her, wondering if this request would trigger the objection in her eyes. Okay, I'm just going to say, typical protocol with hiking is to have a buddy. So Poor going into the woods alone in the first place is not typically a good idea. Yeah. Going alone anywhere isn't a good idea. You're supposed to at least tell someone, too. That's the thing. Yeah, typically you at least tell someone where you're going. That way, if you don't come back, they know where you would have last been when they call the cops. Mm Mm-hmm. And they know where you were going. Yeah, they know which direction you were going. As well as, like, somewhere in the woods, you take a... Like, if you're going somewhere remote, like if you're going to the woods, like you're going camping or you're going hiking or something like that, that you bring a buddy that way if one of you gets hurt the other one can get help or bring a flare gun that way you don't have a 20 uh what was it a 27 hour situation i think it was longer than 27 hours but i know what movie you're talking about 48 hours maybe 48 hours 
Nope, that's a different thing. That movie where the guy cut his arm off. <laughs> 127, 127 hours. You I was off by a hundred. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Did you say your line or did uh? No, no, no. It is your line now. Yes, she agreed. Wait. No. She blinked, startled. Why? Because it's a bad idea to go hiking alone. <laughs> and that's all. Anyways. Uh, I glowered into the untrusting darkness. Untrustworthy darkness. The lack of light was no problem for my eyes, but neither would it trouble uh, another hunter. It only blinded humans. It depends on how long you are out there. Your eyes will adjust. I don't think Stephanie Myers goes outside all that often. No offense. Now I'm just flashing back to the fact that while playing Drusilia, I completely, like, that completely took me out of it because it was the first time I played a character without dark vision. I was the only one with dark vision there, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah, it was like, I take watch. Shit, I can't see anything. <laughs> I light the camp on fire. <laughs> see everything. Like, one of my other characters that has dark vision also starts off with a cantrip that allows her to light bonf uh, to light a campfire. He almost said fucking... Yeah. So, like, that's... It's like, I can already see in the darkness, but there's also this. <laughs> <laughs> For all, all of our visually impaired party members. <laughs> Which is often... Unless you're playing a human or an elf or some other thing that doesn't naturally have dark vision. Yeah. I'm not always the most dangerous thing out there, I told her. But let's let's leave it at that. <laughs> There's bears! <laughs> have you seen a bear? They take out vampires monthly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Edward, here's the thing. I'm much more dangerous. In the background, Pillar Man theme starts flying. <laughs> Right, that's what it was. So now she's a pillar man stand. <laughs> it was like some sort of weird pillar man thing that's also an owl that also might have a stand now because we decided to make her Jotaro. No, 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 no. She's just a normal pillar man, but her, but her stand is an owl one. <laughs> she's a pillar man with a stand? Dear God, that's terrifying. <laughs> I it hope there's a universe where that happened. Her shaded from the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she left Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> She's also here to run from the sun. <laughs> oh, well, we yeah. learned something. Apparently, Bella is a lot worse. I, 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 uh, <laughs> Zawardo. <laughs> 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 she shivered but recovered quickly and was even smiling when she told me whatever you say <laughs> whatever you say dude her breath touched my face so sweet and fragrant then I realized she didn't brush her teeth <laughs> oh what the hell I could stay here all night like this, but she needed her sleep. The two desires seemed equally as strong as they continuously war, uh, continually warred within me. Wanting her versus wanting her to be safe. I sighed at the possibilities. I'll see you tomorrow, I said. Knowing no, that I'm... I would, would see her much sooner than that. She wouldn't see me until tomorrow, though. Dude, oh, the dear fuck? God. Also, now what I'm thinking about is that one scene with Santana where he squeezes through an air vent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a scene. Is Bella doing that? Oh, Just collapsing gosh. all the bones in her body. Like, Edward's trying to sneak through her window, but she just sneaks out instead. <laughs> I, <laughs> Edward, I know what you've been doing. <laughs> Like partially absorbs him into her body and starts eating him. Oh right, they're vampire eaters too. <laughs> yeah, that was the joke, is that she's actually a thing that eats vampires. Although I joke that instead of absorbing them, it was just unhinged his jaw. And takes a massive bite. 
out of him. But then they're in love, so she decides not to. <laughs> the rest of the vampires, uh, bye. Oh god, that actually will be interesting as a romance story in which the vampire hooks up with something that's actually far more dangerous than him, but seems to think that they're just a human and doesn't realize until after the relationship begins. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you could have eaten me at any time? Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, then, she agreed as she opened her door. No. <laughs> Agony again, watching her leave. Repeat my joke from earlier. <laughs> I leaned after her, wanting to hold her here. Bella? Bella? Hella. <laughs> Bella's hella gay. Bella's hella gay? I mean, in the best fanfics, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. She turned and then froze, surprised to find our faces so close together. Too close. Curse little space, Edward. Okay, I I'm actually about to throw up, so can we stop? Okay, I was thinking of doing one more page, but fine. No, I'm actually really sick. Like, legit sick? Yes. Okay, uh, we're on page... I, I need to go right. Okay. Uh, I guess bye, everybody. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, see you next